Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading for mid-October, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Alright, so we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, so there could be something that you are anticipating or stressing about at this time in the current moment. Um, we have the Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Star. So I feel like mid-October, you're going to be relieved. Um, whatever you're worrying about or stressing about right now, you're going to be seeing a completely different um, uh, result. I feel like a lot of you have been putting a lot of work into something, and maybe you're wondering, is all of my hard work going to pay off? Is everything that I've done or everything that I'm doing going to lead me to where I want to go? And I feel like the answer is yes. I feel like there's a lot of hope and a lot of potential um, for whatever it is that you're kind of putting your effort into. And I also feel like there's also kind of like a divine connection um, for some of you, whether this is a divine connection that works out in your favor in career or something that works out in your favor in love. I feel like something is going to benefit you in a way that you may not expect. Um, so we have Six of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Star. And I think the Star is really about the fact that there needs to be more faith. Like maybe you are having a hard time having faith or, you know, thinking through this in a more optimistic way. But I feel like the Star is saying, be hopeful, have faith. Because I think that... Um, your mind is really powerful so how you think about something is really going to carry the energy that is you know eventually going to be the result so really think through things in a positive way so that you can manifest something positive um king of pentacles there may be some sort of financial situation going on at this time maybe there's um an investment that you're thinking about or maybe you're simply trying to figure out what you need to do in order to be financially stable. Uh, maybe some of you have a responsibility or some sort of financial burden at this time that you're worrying about. But for the most part, I feel like, again, even with that situation being how it is, you need to have hope because it is going to improve uh, very soon. Six of Wands, there's success here. I feel like there's recognition as well. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to be recognized for doing it well. And so I think it's just a matter of letting the cards kind of fall, right? Letting time do its thing. I feel like stressing about something or even anticipating worst case scenario is not going to help at this time. So this could be maybe because some of you are not believing in yourselves. Maybe you are not even you know kind of seeing exactly all that you're accomplishing but i think that mindset is very very important um, and that could be the main message here is to really focus on having a positive mindset because that will affect your manifestation so let's go ahead and clarify the king of pentacles all right two of swords yeah it feels like there's a it's almost like a mind over matter situation honestly everything in the cards are saying that you're going to be extremely successful extremely satisfied um again there's something really big happening in your life at this time gemini but it feels like you just don't see it yet like everyone else is aware but you it's almost like the universe can almost see exactly what's happening and you're kind of blinded um, in your own experience, which is really interesting because I feel like it all kind of goes back to maybe how you feel about yourself. Maybe there's something that has been blocking your mind or, you know, blocking your perspective. And so you're not able to really see and appreciate all that you're doing and where it's leading you. So we have the two of wands, the sun, the ace of wands and the world. It's almost like the universe is saying, just wait till you see it, right? It's like they see it. We all see it. Just wait till you see it. Um, it feels like when you step into the arena of self-awareness, you will be so surprised and so happy. Um, I feel like bliss is in your near future, right? The sense of feeling calm, feeling peaceful, but feeling happy about something that you have particularly put in your own um, destiny, right? It feels like there's some sort of karmic blessing on the way here for you. I feel like the world is depicting that this is the start of a new chapter full of abundance, full of blessings. But if you don't see it, right, if you don't visualize it, if you don't manifest with that kind of mentality, then it will be very hard to kind of appreciate it the same. I feel like Ace of Wands could really kind of be about that energy of needing to see it from a different perspective. Maybe Ace of Wands is saying there's another way to, um, think about what's happening at this very moment. Maybe the current stress, right? The current uh, feelings you that you are feeling at this time are what's blocking you from seeing what's 
potentially going to happen. And I know that this is kind of like a run on sentence, but basically, Gemini, it feels like you're not aware of your own great greatness or you're not aware of your own destiny. And it's such a good one, right? There's so many positives that universe is trying almost desperately to like knock on your door and get you to open up and see what's happening here. So we have the five of pentacles right behind that two of swords. So maybe even in the present moment, you're dealing with some sort of loss, whether it's a financial loss, a personal loss, it feels like something is happening in your emotional kind of sector that's truly playing a direct role in how you're seeing everything else in your life, which makes a lot of sense if you think about it from a psychological perspective. So maybe some of you just need to kind of deal with what's happening right now um, and not focus so much on the future because I think the future will speak for itself, right? Whatever you've got going on, whatever you're manifesting, that's going to eventually show up maybe right now. We need to kind of separate the two, right? Not associate what our current emotions and what we're currently dealing with to how our life is going to be represented in a few weeks, right? I think that you have so many things to look forward to and so many things that are going to be working for you in your favor that right now it feels like first things first. The priority is to heal and deal with ha what's happening right now, but just know, right? Just be aware that mid-October is going to be a time of really embracing the future that you are creating for yourself so two of wands is looking at the future making plans for the future and almost excited um, and eagerly awaiting some sort of new beginning here so the world again is depicting that there's a lot of things changing for you but it's happening for the better so let's go ahead and clarify the sun So we have the Four of Swords. Again, I feel like this is kind of going back to what I said. Maybe right now we just need to focus on what's more important. So Four of Swords, maybe right now you need to focus on self-care, um, really taking care of yourself so that when you're ready to face this wonderful new beginning, you can really appreciate it because you're not going to be tired or mentally, physically exhausted from the current situation. So really pay attention to what you need in this very moment. Give that to yourself. And then when the time comes, you'll be able to really kind of revel in the amazing things that are awaiting you. To further clarify the sun, we have eight of pentacles, the chariot, and the ten of wands. So it feels like the ten of wands is representing maybe the relief that you will be getting from something. I feel like right now, again, you're dealing with a lot. There could be, um, you know, several things kind of tugging at you and taking away your energy, draining you to some extent. So the ten of wands, you can expect to see a relief from all of those things mid-October because that's when it feels like the sun will finally shine. So right now, just kind of understand that it may feel like a lot. It may feel like it'll last forever, but this situation is not going to be a permanent thing. And I feel like Ten of Wands is also maybe um, saying that you're coming very close to some sort of end goal here. I feel like you're really completing something. Some of you could literally be finalizing some sort of year-long plan, some sort of program, some sort of um, journey here is coming to a close because you're getting ready to step into the next chapter into what's after this so you are right there right you're so close to finishing this that even though it feels difficult um, you've made it this far we have the chariot as well which is cancer but it also is about moving forward moving quickly kind of going in a very specific direction and seeing yourself make it all the way till the end so you have determination you have persistence you have all the right things you just need to allow yourself to wait until the end before giving up right because maybe right now you feel like giving up you're just like this is a lot i can't handle it. it's too much i feel like the universe is saying don't give up you're right there what feels difficult right now won't last forever just take care of your needs and then once the time comes you, you won't be stressed anymore right you won't be overwhelmed when you're ready to step into the next phase so maybe that's the way we need to think about it maybe i can't do it right now but when i have to do it i'll be ready so i feel like eight of pentacles is about putting in that work to taking care of business right now what needs to be done right now that's what we need to focus on and then when you are getting ready to start that next chapter do not worry you will be more than fine because of everything that you're doing now to prepare for that so I really hope that you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and I will see you in the next one